Alright guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 11.01am. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Friday. Just after 11, isn't it? Uh, basically, uh, my mum rang this morning and I was on the phone for a minute. Any longer than a minute, takes my pain off. Um, my mum just said, call her if I need her, basically. If I want to chat about something. Any unwanted callers, was the word she said. Anyone unwanted that I'm want to get rid of or anything like that, let's give my mum a call. After the phone call, which I was on briefly for a minute, I went and took Max for a walk, which was uh, about half past eight, quarter to nine this morning. Walked up the path and um, people everywhere, coronavirus has now dissipated um, and people are out everywhere now, walking dogs early in the morning. Adults, um, I, I presume, I'm, I'm disabled, I can't work, so I presume all these people that walk dogs um, that haven't got a job or they work late in the afternoon or, or they're, they're disabled like myself. Um, we're getting more and more people on the field and more and more different types of dogs and um, couples uh, walking around the field. So the field's getting quite busy, like I've walked down Chatham Town Centre, you know I've got couples, threes and fours, walking in a circle around the field, and I started that when I first moved down here, because I had two two hours then, briefly, and I started walking dogs around the area, so that just over a year and a half ago now. So everybody's doing it like they walk up and down Chatham Town Centre annoying me, they're doing it around the field. Um, so as I was coming back I bumped into Kim, uh, Kim from the co-op in a red top and she was smoking a cigarette outside the co-op, smoking a fag and I could smell it and smoke irritates my nose and my lungs, I inhaled all the smoke and she said to me that her friend hasn't got back to her about the um, French Bulldog yet but when she does she'll let me know, me Crystal. Then I walked home to the flat and the guy upstairs has still got his kids off school, he's still up there with his children in that flat while I'm underneath with a bad headache. Except he's parked his car down the bottom end flat, which is not outside my window anymore. So I did some balloon videos which I posted and then I decided to go and have a shower because you know they tell you when you've got a migraine or some kind of headache that warm water and heat soothes the pain. So I decided to go and have a shower um, in my bathroom. I didn't have a bath, I had a shower. The bath was slippery, but I've got two rails to hold on to, with two bars on the bath. I nearly slipped over in the shower. It was very, very greasy. I don't know why. Um, got out the shower. Um, I had uh, um, I had a message to my phone the other day telling me Johnson's baby powder causes cancer. I don't know if that's true or not, but it came up as a notification on my phone. I've covered myself in Johnson's baby powder. I mean, Johnson's baby powder has been going for years. It's gone on many babies' bottoms over the years, even before I was born. So I'm not going to stop using Johnson's baby powder. So I've covered myself in that, so I like to make my feet nice and soft when they go in my socks and slippers. Um, decided to give Max a bath because when dogs go around the field they pick up germs, mud gets caught in their claws. That's why I don't let Max lick me on the face or get near my face with his 
paws and paws because obviously they put their paws and they lick wee off the grass. They sniff dog poo and I don't want that near my face. So I gave him a good bath. Max is lovely, he's nice and clean. And um, he didn't like it, but uh, he's nice and clean and fluffy. And I've had a shower, he's had a bath, and then it's all nice and quiet in here, and then the phone goes off, the iPhone, which starts making me get electric shocks to the face, and it was a call from Doncaster. Doncaster. Don't know who it was, haven't got a clue. That phone I don't really use. I don't use that phone. So that went off and then it started to get noisy upstairs again, right? So I just ignored it. I needed to dry my hair, put the hair dryer on, dried my hair, put it up and here I am now. I've got to go to the shop to get some cat litter and something to eat. So I'm really not worried about this French bulldog to be honest. I've got my hands full with Max, I've got two cats, and at the moment I'm not very well, so it doesn't bother me at all whether I get another dog or I don't. And I'm doing quite well ignoring uh, what's going on upstairs, completely ignoring it and carrying on with my business. Um, because that's what I do. And I'm telling you now, I've had it before, we had a, a neighbour, when I was married we had it, a neighbour, my husband, ex-husband, asked this guy to keep the noise down. He's just come home from work and the neighbour took it in upon himself to keep annoying this bug and making our lives misery in that flat. And my ex-husband did not want to go home to the flat with the stalking nuisance that was downstairs. So I got us out of the flat. I kept on at the council. But I'm telling you now, when you've got a nuisance neighbour, you don't want to come home. You don't enjoy yourself in your flat. I can't be myself. He's there almost 24-7 now. He's obviously got no job and he's got his kids there full time. I can't be myself anymore. You ca I can't be myself in this place. I can't enjoy myself.